Filippo Grande went first to the biggest Syrian Arab Red Crescent or SARC polyclinic in the country. UNHCR works with SARC around the country. An unending war has displaced 6.5 million people internally. Their need for help, especially medical help, is urgent. He participated with local children in a demonstration of emergency first aid. The network of SARC clinics treated over 300,000 people in 2015. Grandi also brought help, seven new UNHCR ambulances. And he appealed to all parties in the conflict to allow humanitarian organizations unimpeded and regular access to besieged areas. Later, at the Umm Matia Al Ansariya shelter, a disused and unheated school which is now home to 70 families, he met displaced children and watched as they played in a specially equipped recreation room. I was very happy to see many community-based organizations from here are really doing their utmost, not just to provide the relief to the people, but also opportunities you know, for the children to play, for women to have some activities, even to learn some skills. One of the women he sat down with was Farida. She's a 55-year-old grandmother. She and her six grandchildren are displaced, and she alone supports them. She and the children fled the fighting, and she has no idea what happened to their parents. UNHCR has funded vocational training for her and many others. As he left, Grandi underlined that this is the biggest crisis UNHCR is dealing with. And he praised the resilience and the courage of Syrian civilians, particularly the millions of the displaced.